What's up guys, it's Medicosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Today, we have a great mnemonic about good pasture syndrome. We have talked about good pasture syndrome before in my nephrology playlist and in my five minute review playlist. Today is just a mnemonic. As you remember, good pasture syndrome is nephritic. I have autoantibodies against the basement membrane of my alveoli and the basement membrane of my glomeruli, giving me hemoptysis and hematuria, respectively. But first, let's start by answering the question of the previous video. Always remember that disease do not necessarily fit precisely into authoritatively defined pigeonholes. Speaking of pigeons, I ask you three questions. Here is question number one, two, and three. We have three different patients. First patient, immunosuppressed, exposed to pigeons, and then developed the following, nuchal rigidity, fever, positive Brzezinski sign, and positive Koenig sign. What do you think the answer is? Pause, please, and think about it. The answer is cryptococcal meningitis, caused by the organism Cryptococcus neoformans, which is a fungus. Second patient, pigeon chest, craniotabes, Harrison sulcus, genoverum. This is a child with rickets, usually caused by vitamin D deficiency. I have a video about vitamin D on my channel in my biochemistry playlist. Third patient, pigeon chest, aortic regurgitation, lens subluxation, arachnodactyly. This is Marfan syndrome. Oh, I know Marfan medicosis. It's a problem with collagen. Shut up. It's a problem with elastin. Let's have a quick review. Here's your lovely kidney. Here's the glomerular basement membrane between the endothelium and the epithelium. In cases of good pasture syndrome, this glomerular basement membrane is being attacked by nasty autoantibodies. These antibodies are not attacking foreign bodies, they are attacking your own body. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, because it's an autoimmune disease. If you remember the story of immunology, the antigen presenting cells were presenting the antigen on a tray. What's the name of the tray? MHC, major histocompatibility complex. We have two types of these doofuses. Class one, present in all nucleated cells. Class two, present on the surface of antigen presenting cells. Here's the antigen presenting cell. Here is your lymphocyte. And here's the MHC. MHC class one versus class two. MHC class one is made of HLA, A, B, and C. MHC class two is made of HLA, D. And then D is divided into DP, DQ, DR. And then the DR is even further subdivided into DR2, DR3, and DR4. Good pasture syndrome is associated with DR2 mainly. So DR2 is part of MHC class 2. Lupus is also associated with HLA, DR2, and 3. Lupus, multiple sclerosis, autoimmune hepatitis, good pasture syndrome are all related to HLA-DR2. Remember when I told you before that if you have one autoimmune disease, you're more likely to have another autoimmune disease as compared to the general population? Let's digress and talk about collagen subtypes. Type 1 collagen is in bone. Type 2 cartilage. Type 3 is flexible vessels. Type 4 is under the floor. Type 5, hair, placenta, etc. What do you mean by under the floor for type 4? I mean your basement membrane. Like my glomerular basement membrane? Sure. Like my alveolar basement membrane? True. Do you remember rapidly progressive glomerular arthritis? Yeah, it had many subtypes depending on the immune complex. If you find it linear, this is good pasture. If you find granular, well, stop and think. Is it subendothelial deposits? This is diffuse proliferative. Or is it subepithelial post streptococcal? Or do you see no immune complexes? In this case, it's probably one of those vasculitides. Do you remember good pasture syndrome? Yep, male dominant HLA DR2, which is class 2 MHC. The patient has two problems hemoptysis and hematuria caused by two pathologies, antibodies attacking my alveoli versus antibodies attacking my glomeruli. Two pathologies, two symptoms, two plus two equals four. Collagen type four, the one under the floor, is toast. And I will give you four methods to try to manage good pasture syndrome. Number one, immunosuppressives. Number two, plasma exchange or plasmapheresis. Number three, dialysis. Number four, kidney transplant. So that's your mnemonic for you. All right, good pasture, everything is two. And remember King Tut, the pharaoh, 
He was a male because good pastor is male dominant. Tut tu. Good pastor has two problems associated with HLADR2, which is class 2 MHC. You have all two antibodies that go directly into the basement membrane. The two problems are antibodies attacking my alveoli, antibodies attacking my glomeruli. We're talking basement membrane. The problems, hemoptysis and hematuria. 2 plus 2 is 4. Collagen type 4 under the floor is damaged. How can I manage good pasture syndrome? Four methods. One, immunosuppressives like glucocorticoids, like cyclophosphamide. Two, I will take the antibodies away from the patient. How? Plasmapheresis or plasma exchange. Three, dialysis. How? Peritoneal or hemodialysis. Four is kidney transplant. If you like this video, you will adore my new toxicology course available at medicosisperfectionalist.com. You can download today 11 gigabytes of content. The amount of high yield facts in this course is going to make your head spin, but it will not cause tinnitus. That's what aspirin does. Pun, that was a toxicology joke. And you can get a 40% discount towards any course on my website by using promo code TOXIDROME. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website, download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense.